What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Stan Philly Sports History for July 22nd, 2023. I'm your host, Jim Montgomery, coming at you last day from Ocean City, Maryland, coming at you a little bit earlier. So you might hear the beachcombers, you might hear the, the trash man, but I do apologize and we make do to make sure you guys get your this day in Philly sports history delivered to your inbox every single day all right quick Phillies update well first of all the game did not go well six to five they lost Ranger was not sharp uh, it was more the same though I mean 10 guys left on base uh, one for six with runners in scoring position I feel like they had the bases loaded twice and couldn't get anything done and it's starting, especially now, because Bryce looked very good at first base. Uh, I think the guy just knows how to play one way. And, I mean, you saw him diving into the stands. You saw him really putting himself out there and doing well. So I think with that piece, I think now you're in a position to trade for, for another bat. They need something to get. Like, they're just – Especially in the playoffs, you're not going to be able to leave guys on base and not get runners in when they're in scoring position. So hopefully that will make them be able to see clearly with the trade. Because the pitching's not bad. I mean, Ranger wasn't sharp, but he certainly wasn't bad. So they look to even that series up with the Guardians and snap that three-game losing streak this afternoon. Um, time for our As the Harden Turns. And a new wrinkle has been added. Uh, it seems like some of the trade talks they've been talking about with the Clippers have involved P.J. Tucker, who Harden took less money for last offseason so the Sixers could sign. And i got to be honest, if they can somehow move Harden and Tucker, that's not a bad – it frees up a lot of cash, but that's not bad for your team either. Um, so we'll see, but that's the new the new wrinkle is PJ Tucker's been now floated around. So again, it's it's literally the Real Housewives of the Philadelphia 76ers. I love it. Union in action tonight against Club Tijuana from Mexico. Uh, this is the their group stage for the Leaks Cup. They're down in Chester tonight. I'm gonna try to actually watch this, uh, especially now the Women's World Cup is on uh, in the. Uh, they're in Australia, so the games are on late. So get a little soccer fix in. Eagles, not much there. Uh, it's training camp next week, uh, and the, they keep talking. And they're, they're, the talk is all about the season, how they could be the best team in the NFC but end up doing worse. They've talked about how they could do that. Like, there's just a lot of stuff going on, but um, – when you start getting to like nitpicky stuff like this, it's time for training camp and then it'll be all about the battles. And then we'll kind of go through this cycle again when it's time to kick off the season. But you know, it's close when my vacations are done for the year. Finishing up here in Ocean City, Maryland's our last beach trip. So that fir firmly means school is on the way, which means football. All right. <clears throat> Speaking of football, if you want to show your support for the Eagles this year, Go to our friends at phillygoat.com. They have a wide selection of Eagles apparel, Phillies apparel, Sixers, whatever you need. They have different sizes, different colors. Go check them out at phillygoat.com. They, like I said, it's good quality stuff. Um, I got some compliments walking down here with a couple of the shirts I, I've worn. So definitely check them out. Use the promo code Jim Montgomery for 10% off of your order. All right, today... We are going to go back to 1955, and on this day, the Phillies split a doubleheader with the Cardinals. The Phillies won game one, 6-3. It was their 11th straight home win at home, which is the longest home winning streak for them since 1892, um, and still something they haven't done since. <clears throat> The streak, however, was short-lived as it ended in Game 2 as the Cardinals beat the Phillies 8-1. Uh, but that 1955 team went 77-77. and 77. Uh, And what's ironic about that is they had the 11-game home win streak, but they also had a 13-game losing streak earlier in that season just all the way. Um, and if you're scoring at home, the longest all-time winning streak for the Phillies is 16 
They did that twice, once in 1887 when they were still the Quakers, and again in 1890. Uh, in the modern era, the longest winning streak they have is 13, and that was in 1991. That was just a pitiful, pitiful team. Um, but on this day in 1955, the Phillies won the game one of the doubleheader which was their 11th straight home win uh but the streak again ended in game two as they lost to the cardinals eight to one all right if you want more phil's coverage check out our friends at 2008 phil's they have the world's largest phillies email newsletter and it's it's good quality stuff i mean there's articles analysis some fun stuff on there as well and currently they're having a deal for a limited time, 75% off for this day in Philly sports history. Listeners, follow the link in the description wherever you're watching this, uh, YouTube, uh, wherever you get your podcast. Uh, if you're on social media, it's in there. But 75% off. I mean, it's a great deal. You get access to all of the the articles. Uh, they do have some free stuff, but all the good stuff obviously is behind the paywall, but 75% off. And then you get access to all the archives, which I've said I use all the time when, when trying to find stuff for the podcast. Um, you also get that 2008 World Series championship shirt uh, that says the red 2008, which I love. 2008 fills will follow your twitter account if that's what you want and i've they, he has a ton of followers a ton of key followers so if that's something you're looking to grow your brand definitely not a bad person to have follow you uh and it's tw two dollars a month or you just pay the 20 bucks and get it for the whole year uh for the shirt or the content it's worth it and i mean the content is second to none uh, so I don't know what you're waiting for. Follow that link. 75% off your subscription to 2008 Phils. All right. Time to update our Philly Sports Most Lovable Loser Tournament. Yesterday, it was the Eagles Regional. The number two 2022 Eagles took on the number three 1980 Eagles. And as expected... Uh, the 2022 Eagles just dominated. They won with 78% of the vote. And they actually, we, we had a record day yesterday. So like typical Philadelphia sports, we know that Eagles are king. And for whatever reason in this tournament, the Eagles days have always been the big ones. But it's the 2022 Eagles moving on to take on the three or the five seed 2002 Eagles uh, and that will take place on Tuesday today it's the Flyers regional and <clears throat> the winner will take on the number five seed 86 87 Flyers today the matchup is the number three 96 97 team versus the number seven 99 2000 team let's start with the 96 97 team they beat the 09-10 team with 67% of the vote. They went 45, 24, and 13. They had the slow start because Eric Lindros was hurt. And then they got hot, finished second in the division. They had the third seed in the East. Uh, that was the famed Legion of Doom line. They kind of rolled through the uh, Eastern Conference, beating the Penguins, Sabres, uh, and Rangers all four games to one. And then they ran into the buzzsaw that was about to be that dominant Red Wings team and got swept out uh, in, a, in a series where they just couldn't score any goals. Um, but they, it was kind of like the high point of the Eric Lindros era with that Legion of Doom line. All right, the 99-2000, one of my... My all-time favorites. They beat the 79-80 Flyers with 75% of the vote. They went 45, 25, 12, and 3. They won the Atlantic Division, had the number one seed. This is the team that went through all the adversity. They had Roger Nielsen with the throat cancer, uh, Gene Hart, the legendary voice of the Flyers, um, or the voice of the spectrum, I should say, uh, lost, uh, died. They lost a player in a boating accident that offseason. They traded fan favorite Ron Brindamar for Keith Primo. Lindros was out with injury. Uh, it just was a mess. That was when Carl and Bonnie, and, uh, they stripped Lindros of his captaincy. Uh, but when the playoffs came, they were hot. They went beat the Sabres 4-1. to one. They beat the Penguins 4-2. to two. That was included that five-overtime thriller where Primo hit the goal in the fifth overtime. Then they took on the Devils in the Eastern Conference Final. 
rolling, got up three games to one, and then the wheels fell off, and that was the series where Lindros came back, and Scott Stevens just completely wrecked him, um, and they blew the three to one lead, and ultimately would not be done. As always, I played this out on What If Sports, and it was surprisingly, it was a 96 97 team coming out six, six out of 10 times, but three of those games went into overtime. So now it is your turn. Tell me who wins between the 99 2000 Flyers and the 96 97. Vote wherever you're getting this, leave a comment, send me a text message. Um, I am driving home from Ocean City today, so if you want to send smoke signals, I'll see them. But let me know who wins and has a spot in the finals of the Flyers Regional to take on that five-seed 86-87 team. Be sure to check out our friends at Philly Goat as well as 2008 Phils. Phils looking to even that series up in Cleveland this afternoon. Training camp is close. That's why I'm wearing the Eagle shirt. It is close. I cannot wait. On this day in 1955, the Phillies won their 11th straight home game, beating the Cardinals 6-3, to and then lost game two of the doubleheader 8-1 to to snap that streak. Let's hope uh, we, if they can include P.J. Tucker, I, I still can't get over that. If they can include P.J. Tucker and James Harden to free up that money and not take anything ridiculous in return to set them up for a year from now, sign me up. This has been This Day in Philly Sports History. I'm Jim Montgomery. Go have yourselves a Saturday. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.